working on a math boot camp of sorts um, because there were some things that I pinpointed that I wanted to spend some time working on with the kids so we kind of did another math boot camp a little bit different than the last one in that the last time I did a math boot, math boot camp I think it lasted for maybe a week or two this time around I expect for a math boot camp to last for a good couple of months, I'm thinking. I just really wanna spend some time um, working on that area and it's probably the area that I've had the most um, temptations to be um, concerned or feel insecure about lately. So why not work on it? So I have all of my stuff laid out and my ideas rolling and we just got started um, spending some time just really identifying and working on those things so we've been having a lot of fun just and you know some challenges of course but trying to push through those challenges and just really focus on math on all of our levels i wanted to pop in and um, show you a few clips from our days and just I've been so bogged down with things to get checked off my list that I needed to just pause and check in a bit and just be grateful for what is happening in 2019 so far. So um, I have been wanting to stop in and let you in on a little secret that's really not a secret because there's already been an announcement. It just hasn't come from me. So um, it's a pretty huge announcement, you guys, in that this is going to be the very first time um, that I will be speaking at a homeschool conference. I am going to be speaking at the Good and the Beautiful's um, homeschool convention or homeschool conference in July and I am really excited. I'm probably a little bit more nervous than excited but um, I'm excited to meet everybody. Um, Ashley from Grace and Grit is also going to be speaking at this conference um, so I'm really excited about that. It's in June in Utah and I don't know I'm so excited to meet her and I'm excited to meet those of you ha that will be in attendance so you guys just pray for your friend because this definitely is not one of those things that I had in mind to do. Um, you guys know all about my journey thus far um, and you know that I'm not big on giving advice or um, giving tips and tricks and things like that however I do have a heart for sharing what we are doing in our homeschool what is working what's not working things that I'm learning and just really trying to embrace this whole homeschool journey all together so um, it's exciting I'm really excited and just really trying to keep the nerves under control here. I'm super grateful um, for even being asked to come and speak. Just the email communications back and forth between us have been so life-giving in a sense that sometimes when you feel like you're really open and honest and um, you guys know I don't use the Good and the Beautiful's curriculum as maybe a lot of other people would use it um, or maybe as it was intended, but it's been a huge addition to our homeschool and a huge reason why I've gathered um, even more confidence in our homeschooling journey. So I love it. I love it a lot. Um, and so it would, it's just a huge blessing to be asked to be there and to speak. This will be my first time speaking. It's not really anything that I thought I would be doing, but I'm trying to say yes to the things that I believe God is sending my way. So I'm excited for that reason 
I am excited. So that is really the big announcement and I am going to gather all the information that I can and leave it in the description box below all about the conference and how you can come. It would be really cool to um, see some of you guys. Oh, that would be so, it would be so much fun. Anyway, after I get my nerves under control. Um, then the other announcement that I had is that I've been working really hard trying to juggle things and manage my patron which has been such a blessing really it's been such a blessing um to the way that i've been sharing and the way that i envision um business and homeschool life and that whole journey um moving along so um these last two months i've just been heavy into trying to figure that out and making sure that um that it's a good fit and moving along in the right direction and you guys you know um how i felt about the numbers all along my youtube journey and i've never felt really comfortable um pushing subscribers and things like that it's just i don't know i just needed that foundation that i wasn't getting or that understanding of what i was doing or why i was growing and opening up patreon has really filled a huge gap a gap in that area for me and answered a lot of those issues for me so that is really exciting and i can say that i'm so happy to say that we are already at 70 patrons over there and um a little over 8,000 subscribers on this channel so that is really exciting and then also on my vlog channel even though i haven't been as consistent as i'd like to be and that is one of the things i'd like to address this year for sure um i'm almost at 900 subscribers over there which is big you guys <laughs> it has taken me so long and it i really haven't been as intentional about it so i say this lightly it just seems like when you see all the other channels that are kind of effortlessly at least reaching over a thousand subscribers it's it's hard to relate the amount of effort and energy you spend into creating videos for yourself though um and it not just automatically growing that can kind of mess with you sometimes but it's a lot of faith and patience to just believe that at the right time things will grow the way they're supposed to and I will be sound enough and have a strong enough foundation to handle it all. You know what I mean? So that's really exciting to be almost at 900 at my vlog channel. Um, my goal right now over there is to make it to 1,000 because once I get to 1,000 I have the potential to monetize that um, channel which is helpful. So that'll be my next goal is to make Make it um, to a thousand on my vlog channel and make it to ten thousand on this channel and those are good numbers I feel like I can stand behind and then a hundred on my patron um, page so these are all like really huge things for me that <laughs> that um, I'm not really big on celebrating um, but I definitely want to do better at because I am really grateful and really excited. Even if it is slow growth, um, it's still very exciting. So anyway, I won't ramble on. That's basically what I wanted to, um, mention in this video today. Just kind of show you a few clips from the fun that we're having. Uh, the thing about it is I have a lot of things planned for a math boot camp that I'm definitely going to do more videos on. I don't want the excitement to be all at the beginning because I want them to be sure. I want them to know that, you know, we mean business. We mean business about working on our math skills. But at the same time, I do have a lot of fun things along the way. So right now I'm just using things like dress up, like our... Um, our astronaut helmet and things like that to help make just our basic math practice that there's no substitution for to just make that a little bit more fun so i just thought i'd include some of those clips because i got a kick out of those and i wanted to remember <laughs> kendall <laughs> and just tell you some of my big announcements so i don't know 
<laughs> I'm going to stop talking now so I can get back to math with the kids. And as you can see, I'm super giddy about everything that God is doing in our lives. Even if, you know, once I turn this camera off, I am slight panicked because of all of the things that I have on my plate. But I have to remember that his grace is sufficient and that he is the one that is going to do the things through me. So I am just a vessel. I am here um, trying to use the gifts that he's given me and, you know, just work on the assignment that I believe that he's given me. And for us, that is homeschool and the kids and using our gifts and being creative and all of those types of things. So your friend's just here. I'm just here for the journey. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, I'd love to know if you guys um, had were interested in attending the Good and the Beautiful convention or conference. This is the absolute first time I'll be going to um, a homeschool conference or convention. And go figure, I'll be actually speaking. So, um, I don't know. We'll see how it all goes. <laughs> I'll leave all the information below, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this um, little announcement or big announcement of mine. I'm so, so, so grateful for you guys who have been along on the ride and for everybody that is new here that has shown me so much love and, and just going back and forth and talking in this little space of ours. So let me go. Anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in our next video. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, hit the bell notification so that you're notified whenever we post. Um, consider subscribing to our vlog channel as well. I'm going to be doing a lot more just uh, documentation of our homeschool days along with just regular life stuff there. So if you're interested in that, go and give that a look. Tell everybody that you know that might be interested. I would love to have them along for the journey. And yeah, just thank you guys so much. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.